We get mail every other day, and lately it's been three, four days that we're not getting mail. Well, it's been a big story. We've been talking about it. The mail delivery woes that have been plaguing the mountain towns of Colorado so much that lawmakers are now getting involved. A lawsuit is being considered as well. But it's not just a mountain issue. The problems in Summit County and other mountain towns were just the first to come to light. Mail customers in several areas of the Denver metro area are having trouble too, facing their own delays. Here's 9 News reporter Courtney Yoon. For the uh, last couple of months, it's uh, been sporadic. Lately, a West Aurora neighbor hasn't been seeing the mailman as often as he'd like. I do my mailman a favor. I leave him candy when he does come. This candy's been in there since Monday. Kenneth Hansen has been waiting on some letters to arrive, but besides candy, his post box has remained empty for the last four days. Two weeks ago, my wife passed away, and I've been expecting some legal documents in the mail, and they haven't come yet. So yesterday, he headed over to the post office to try and pick up his mail. After waiting a half hour, Hansen says he was told by a supervisor they just don't have the manpower. She couldn't find out where my address was in the back, so I just left. There were three people behind me that had the same problem, and they were from different areas of town. When the mail does come, Hansen says it's usually after dark, sometimes as late as 9 p.m. Dangerous to him. It's also dangerous to our, our community that mail is in the mailboxes and nobody knows it's there until the next day. He's not the only one dealing with delays. There's been multiple reports across the Denver Metro. USPS has also apologized to customers in Steamboat Springs and Silverthorne that haven't received mail for weeks. Recently, four mail carriers from Colorado Springs were relocated to Buena Vista to help out there. I hope that they can solve their issues quickly and get their staffing up and uh, let's get back to normal. USPS blames the national labor shortage for the delays. This week, it held job fairs looking to fill hundreds of positions across the state, half of them along the front range. Hansen says he wishes he could help out. I'd love to, I'm pushing 80 years old and I'd love to work, but I don't have that energy to do it anymore. <laughs> USPS says if they are unable to deliver to a particular neighborhood due to short staffing, they try to make deliveries a priority for the next day. USPS says it's also documenting concerns from customers. We'll put some information on 9news.com on how to submit a comment, as well as details on how to apply to one of those 600 open positions. For years, we've been talking about the difficulty, the problems that the U.S. Postal Service faces. I mean, are these good jobs? Do you think these are jobs people would want? So they're actually having trouble recruiting people in the high country. Um, mm -hmm. those, those, the salary for that or the hourly wage is about $24.42 is about the most you can make. Um, and so that's why they're trying to get employee housing up in Summit County right now to try incentivize people to be able to work there and to be able to afford it too. We'll keep yeah. following it. All right, thanks, Courtney.